75% of the keynote by Sundar Pichai in the Google I.O. event was dedicated to speaking about just generative AI. In fact, they mentioned the word AI around 150 times. AI, 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 generative AI, generative AI. It uses AI to bring AI. I see this as a big statement on how serious Google is about doubling down on AI in the coming years. In this video, I want to give you 10 ways Google will change your life with AI. And at the end, I'll talk about what this means for Indian professionals and the job market. If you're a developer, the one tool you should be most excited about is the Google Vertex AI. Google's own suite of generative AI development tools available to the developer community. We'll talk about it later in the video. For now, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Number one. Help Me Write. Gmail will soon have an AI copywriting tool called Help Me Write, which helps you write emails. It's a prompt-based text generator like ChatGPT that helps you write things better. The CEO Sundar Pichai demoed it by asking the tool to respond to an email for a canceled flight asking for a full refund. With Help Me Write being integrated directly into Gmail, it makes the workflow much easier for anyone looking to generate quick and human-sounding responses. I mean, why would I use ChatGPT if I could do everything in Google? Number two. Magic Eraser and Magic Editor. Sundar then introduced Magic Eraser, which like the name suggests, is pure magic. It's a simple photo editing tool that you can use to remove entire objects from photos, be it unwanted objects or most importantly, photo bombers. Coupled with another AI tool called Magic Editor, Google is changing the way people edit images. You'll now be able to edit images like never before by repositioning entire objects, improving lighting, and even generating previously non-existent parts of the image to make them look the best as possible. Number three, Bart plus search. Next comes AI-assisted search. Pretty much a no-brainer at this point. Up until now, if you had a query, you had to search it on Google using keywords and sift through multiple articles and read them one by one to make an informed decision by yourself. Say goodbye to all that with AI-assisted search where the search bar gives you a section like this about all articles in a conversational and human tone. In a lot of ways, this means the death of a lot of blog-based websites that previously used SEO to get traffic into them. I mean, why would you even read multiple blogs if you're getting an accurate and satisfactory answer right on top? Our prediction is that this will kill the SEO industry of Google overnight. SEO will soon be a skill of the past that has no real use case in the world we are going to. Number four, BARD plus tools. Just like search, Google will be integrating its text-based AI assistant called BARD into most of its tools. Take Google Docs for example. You will see a prompt bar like this. And at the event, they demoed this tool being used for generating a job listing with descriptions like skills, responsibility, etc. You'd now be able to generate near-perfect text templates in seconds. The same goes for other workspace tools offered by Google, such as Google Sheets, Google Slides, and etc. And Bard can now code, debug, and modify 20 plus programming languages. Google removed the waitlist on Bard, and it is now live for public use. You go try it out yourself. Number five, Bard plus Adobe Firefly. With Bard, Google is not only competing with OpenAI's ChatGPT, but also DALI and Midjourney. Say hello to Bard plus Adobe Firefly, Google's very own Bard powered image generation tool. It works very similar to these existing tools. You type in a prompt and the generator spits out a completely new AI generated image. Number six, Universal Translator. Google is testing Universal Translator a tool that enables video creators on a whole new level and connects the world in a deeper way. It can interpret your voice, form a video, and read up it into multiple languages. It even synchronizes your lip movement to the new language. Just watch this. To ask for help and then following through on using helpful resources is actually a hallmark of becoming a productive adult. Muchos universitarios no comprenden que saber cuándo pedir ayuda. Crazy, right? Number seven, Gemini Foundation Model. Now here's the juice for all you developers watching this. Google announced Gemini, its new foundational model with 1.3 trillion parameters that are currently in training. This directly competes with the GPT-4 model, which has around the same number of parameters. So we're in for some live action between Google and OpenAI in the coming months. Number eight, Palm 2 LLM. In addition to the foundational model, Google unveiled Palm 2, which is its own language learning model 
trained on 100 plus languages. It can code and reason at an expert level and has already scored better than expert medical students. The difference is LLMs are trained basically on text-based data and foundational models are trained on more than text. Number 9. Vertex AI Here's the most exciting part for developers. Vertex AI is Google's own AI platform for developers where they can use Google's powerful foundational models to make generative AI tools. They claim it to be 80% faster and 50% cheaper than any other alternatives out there. And it is also plugged into the internet. You can also plug it into multiple other tools available out there to automate and AI power your business. It even has a model called Gecko that is optimized to function on mobile devices. This is now available on Preview. Number 10, Google Labs. And for all you wanting to become beta test users for Google's experimental AI tools, you have Google Labs where you can get early access to all of Google's new AI innovations. You should probably go sign up right now. It has a bunch of interesting experiments you can get to try out. There's even one where you can generate your own music using just text. Now, what does this all mean for you sitting in India and watching this video? Well, for starters, it has become quite clear that everything around us is soon going to be AI enabled in some way. 92% of internet users use Google as their primary search engine. And when a monopoly shareholder is going all in on AI, there's no other proof that is needed. Large and medium sized teams of content writers and copywriters will be replaced by a handful of AI enabled writers. Photo editing and image generation will be much faster and more intuitive so you can expect a significant downsizing in roles like graphic designers, illustrators and even UI UX designers. Most of the large teams will be replaced by a few AI enabled editors and designers. Debugging and testing teams will see downsizing as these tools can now code and debug in more languages than a human can. SEO will soon be dead as bar powered search takes over most of the search queries and the demand for becoming the number one search result will dip over time. With openly available models like Gemini and Palm 2 and prompt based coding via BART, what can be done in months can be achieved in days. AI is a real disruptor. And if you're in any of these fields, you have to upskill yourself and become AI enabled in some way. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind. But here's the good thing. If you're hearing this now, you're still one of the early people to become aware of how deeply AI will affect the job market. So you still have some time to upskill and stay updated with this changing space. And to do that, subscribe to 100X.